Now let's take a look at using the quantum in another DAW. So in this particular case, let's go ahead and boot up Pro Tools and let's have a quick look at using the quantum in Pro Tools. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just boot up Pro Tools. Now, while this is loading up, let's just talk about a couple things quickly. So first off, depending on which software you use, they may have a different way to set up or configure the IO. So you're gonna to wanna to refer to the documentation of the software that you're using when setting up the quantum. Now, having said that, I've already gone ahead here and I've opened up a session or created a session where we have the Personas Quantum IO set up. So we can use this session as a demonstration. Before I do that, just wanna double check to see I'm making sure that I'm using the quantum in my playback engine. Now I'm gonna go ahead, let's just go to Recents and we're gonna open up this session over here. So what I wanna to talk to you about really briefly is not necessarily a tutorial in setting up the IO, but just a concept of how we can use the headphone routing with respect to Qmixes. So I currently have this set up the way that I work most of the time. I like to monitor my headphone one source. I like that to monitor my mains. So essentially anything that would be coming out of the mixer, I wanna be listening to that in my headphones. But let's talk about if we needed to set up another send. So let's say that we wanted to set up a send for an artist that we're working with. Let's go into universal control for a second and we just wanna make sure that we're using another output. So in this case, I can use phones too. Now this is a direct output. It's actually completely separate to all these other outputs. Now technically, I could use any output. So I could assign out three and four and as long as I sign my headphone source to that same output, I could monitor that. But let's just keep things simple. Gonna use phones too. Now back in our DAW of choice over here that we're using, we can just go ahead now and we can route a send directly to the phones too. So I'm just gonna to go to outputs over here and let's use HP2. Now I have a headphone mix that I can generate for my artist. Let's go ahead and just expand this. Typically, I would choose pre-fader, so I would make these pre-fader. I could set up a mix, and then anything that's happening is being sent through the auxiliary sends in our DAW, and then, of course, we're picking up that source on our headphones, too. So when we're working with third-party DAWs, we need to make sure that we assign the headphone source in universal control, or it's worth mentioning that we also have universal control app that can be downloaded for iOS or Android devices, which makes this very simple as well. So you don't even necessarily have to be doing this on your computer. And then like I mentioned, any routing that's happening is done within your software at this point. We don't have a low latency software mixer that we have to manage. So anything that we need to do in terms of monitoring, it's all done within your software. Mm -hmm.